Hi everyone, welcome to R1 underscore Racing. Here we are for the round three of the JSCC at Knock Hill, which is my home circuit, so I'm very excited for it, I was. And obviously, the, both races are in both directions. We've got clockwise and anti-clockwise, which is quite nerve-wracking because I've not done that before. So I was quite nervous about that. So here we are. Um, unfortunately, we had technical difficulties with the camera and it ended up not recording um, qualifying or the first race, unfortunately. So we don't have that footage. But this is just some practice and while you are watching me just go around and do my practice, I will speak through my race one. So I'm just going on for a bit of practice right now. Um, we are doing anti-clockwise first, that's the first one we do. So first race is anti-clockwise, so is qualifying. But as you can see, start of it, <laughs> a bit lazy. I didn't change up to third gear when I really should have. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll just stay in second gear since I'm almost at the corner anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously I'll do that in the future. Okay, so race one. And as soon as we were about to go on, the heavy rain started. It was really bad, torrential rain. Fortunately, when we got on the track, you know, it died off, but the track was still really slippery, really wet. There was obviously some puddles in some places as well. And obviously I've, I've never went in the wet at high speed before, which was like, I was a bit like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to do this. But yeah, it was, when we got on, it was really fun. I've only been round in the wet and with the safety car. So I was really nervous about it. Unfortunately, at the start, I got a really, really good start. I, I really powered off, and but unfortunately, Chloe Grant stalled, um, which caused a pileup of some other cars, which I fortunately managed to get round practically no damage apart from the wing mirror, but that was it. Um, which was really lucky, but unfortunately that meant that it wasn't the best start and there was also like the, I think it was a yellow flag and then that went to a red flag. So we had to do a restart. Then on the restart, I missed my second gear, which meant everyone just got past me unfortunately, so the restart wasn't good. So yeah. And then... But fortunately, I managed to start gaining a few places, did a bit of overtaking, um, so yeah, it turned out not too bad. So on the final lap of the race, unfortunately, we had a spin. I spun off, me and the guy in front of me both spun off due to oil on the track. At that moment I didn't know and I thought it was just me and him had both made the same mistake and I was like seriously but I was like really annoyed with myself that I had made that mistake and I was like how did I do it I thought I took a perfect line I don't understand but then when I got off um, my dad obviously told me there was oil on the track and then I understood why that happened but at that moment I was like seriously why did that happen <laughs> but yeah so that unfortunately happened so back to practice, still in practice right now, obviously it's anti-clockwise, getting really good lines for some of the corners, still breaking a bit too hair early for the hairpin, hairpin, or shall I say a lot too early for the hairpin, but you know, if I had qualifying and if I had the race footage, you could see that I was progressing and I was breaking a bit later and I was taking the advice that I had been given um, to break later and to improve. As you can see, I'm breaking way too early and I'm actually having to go back on the throttle and then come back off and break again, which is terrible. I shouldn't do that and I shouldn't have been able to do that.
are just coming up near to the end of practice, which is good. As you can see here, the car in front of me, Carter, he ended up rolling. Um, we had Aiden Moffat in his car as an instructor, and I think he maybe just pushed the car a little too hard. And yeah, he end it looks like he made it, but then as I look back, as you'll see in a minute, I look back and I go like that. Whoa! <laughs> and I see that he's on his roof and I'm like, oh, well that didn't end too well. At that moment I was like, wow, that's not too good. But to be honest, if I'm going to be honest here, it was pretty entertaining <laughs> to watch. Obviously, it's not good being in that situation. It would be horrible and, you know, it's not something you want to be in. So that's the race results for the end of race one. I had my first ever DNF. Excuse the horrible mirror, makes you look like you've got a really long face. Oh, I didn't realise that. So I think here I'm just heading to do qualifying. I wasn't quite sure where the marshal wanted me to go. I had already came in and then he ended up pointing over and I was like, I'm already halfway down. Um, so it was a bit confusing, but you know, it's all good. He was fine with it. Um, so here we are going on for qualifying for race two. It was pretty good. Again, my braking's still a little early, but it was better than doing the anti-clockwise. My braking was better there. So as you can see here, I've spun off very close to a crash. Quite incredible that no one crashed into me, I was so lucky. Stalled the car trying to get back off, which is really bad and I really need to fix that. I can't do that because I was so lucky not getting into a crash there. Thankfully there was no damage to the car. We're off again. Back home for qualifying. Again, breaking a bit too early still. And there's Jamie Goody. He just rolled so that's another car to add to the list that rolled in front of me as you can see I just slowed down a bit I was like I hope he doesn't come in front of me so I wanted to slow down and just make sure like that I could get past all right so I didn't know which direction he was gonna go again it's quite entertaining to watch but obviously I'd not want to be in that situation where I'm having a roll definitely not so we had a red flag and um, so that was us restarting it again
on qualifying, but st still. <laughs> the guy that I'm overtaking was the guy that rolled in front of me the day before. Now, I was a bit confused because I saw the indicator and I thought he was maybe going to pull over or something and let me pass or something. I was very confused. But, yeah. <laughs> This was the point where I got a brand new stone chip on my window. <laughs> As you can see, I was braking a lot later for that corner, which was much better, but unfortunately, we were, that was the end of it almost. End of qualifying almost, so. Yeah. Just drove through scrutineering, didn't have to do it. There's my dad over there, just giving me a thumbs up. And also there's my team principal that I forgot to mention on the radio, so I'll give him a mention here now. Just giving me a thumbs up as well he was. So this is just race two, got all lined up. I couldn't see the lights unfortunately, so I couldn't really see when we were supposed to go or anything. And I also missed my second gear, which is just great. So yeah, wasn't a great start at all, not being able to see the lights, missing second gear, yeah. But thankfully I was back up and hopefully we'll start in places. Probably should have stayed to the outside there, but it's all good. So as you can see it's kind of spitting, so I don't think I had mum and the wipers on at this point. Safety car already unfortunately. So yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was in the rain. As you can see just there, obviously somebody didn't see the 
yellow flag and kind of just went right past me and I was like whoa where did she come from but yeah he realized and then he went back behind me so we did a few laps behind the safety car you know it's not really that fun <laughs> it's a bit boring just going at like 60 miles per hour behind a safety car but here we go green flag um, I should have really been up right behind the car in front but I wasn't so that meant it took me quite a few laps to gain on them three laps Here I am going for an overtake and I make it. But obviously because I tried to go for that overtake I made it but because I went for that overtake meant I had a terrible line and that meant I was really slow at the corner as well. As you can see here, I definitely went out to early and gave it away that I was going to go for an overtake. And um, so he did the right move and swerved over and stopped me, which meant I was stuck behind him again. I made it too obvious that I'm going for an overtake, and I pull right out. And I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. And I go for an overtake here, he's taking the right line. I didn't even realise that I was pushing him unfortunately. Um, so I ended up going off and just going right across the track, which was not very good at all, because that could have caused a lot of damage as well. And here, it turns out, I have broke my gearbox so I was stuck in first gear I thought there was something wrong with the car so I pulled over in reality I really should have just kept going and stayed in first gear but you know I thought there was something wrong so I just pulled over here are the results another DNF for me so overall it was not the best of a home race it was really good, but it's just not the best, getting two DNFs. But thank you so much to all of my sponsors.
Automatic Performance Garage East Kilbride, RPM Garage Bearsden, JMB Information Governance, Hillington MOT Centre, Mobile Hygiene Services, Canvas Lang, 07 Graphics, Clyde Bank, Tradeston Performance, The Gentleman Racer, Junction 1 Graphics, McGill Motorsports. And uh, thank you so much to all of them. And also I'd like to say a lovely thank you to Graham and his wife from RPM Garage for coming up and taking their time to come up and watch my race. And it was just amazing to have some of my sponsors there and them coming to support me. It's just incredible. I really appreciated it and I hope they enjoyed it. For anyone who didn't know, I was also on the Paisley Daily Record. For anyone who didn't know, I was also on the Paisley da Daily Express and on the Daily Record. Um, you can They're still available online if you want to have a check out of them. And I was also interviewed by Russell Aitken by, at Black Diamond, which will be available soon to watch on um, my Facebook and Instagram. If any sponsors or businesses that might be interested to get involved with my racing, please don't hesitate to contact me or my dad through my Facebook, R1 underscore racing. Or if you're just a person who would like to help me out, I have a GoFundMe page on my Facebook and Instagram, which you could check out as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video, which will be Snitterton.